The price of college textbooks rose 88% between 2006 and 2016. Textbook costs are a known barrier to college student success. Open Educational Resources, or OER, are one way faculty can reduce costs and improve student performance. OER are free or low-cost materials that replace traditional textbooks, course packs, and access links. OER are not just textbooks. Many come with ancillary materials like slides, homework, and quizzes. There are even fully formed OER courses available for adoption. The key to OER is that they are all issued with an open license, meaning that faculty are free to adapt, remix, and reuse material as they wish. This makes OER tailorable to individual courses. We often think that free equals bad or poorly made. That is not the case with OER. OER are free, but their quality is just as good, if not better, than many traditional textbooks, as they are more easily updated, reviewed, and evaluated. OER are made by faculty like you. They are scholars and experts in their fields who understand the content and pedagogies of teaching. Many faculty who write and make OER do so because they've identified gaps in what is available. OER are vetted and edited. Traditional textbooks have not necessarily been vetted and there are long-standing biases in the editing process. The editorial process for traditional publishing is not always clear and some publishing houses are beholden to what will sell. OER does not have that problem. Most open textbooks are created within rigorous editorial and peer review guidelines. Reviews of OER, like those issued through the Open Textbook Library, are publicly issued by faculty. And just as with traditional textbooks, you can evaluate OER for your own needs and context. OER is more than just online textbooks. Many include slides, tests, quizzes, homework, project ideas, and more. There are even full OER courses available that include lesson plans. You can mix, match, and adapt all OER to suit your individual course needs. One aspect of OER is open pedagogy. Open pedagogy is a practice of engaging with students as creators, which can help them more deeply connect with the material and learning goals of your course. Open pedagogy also allows students to build a portfolio of material and marketable workplace skills. OER are not bound by traditional publishing restrictions. Since these materials are born digital with an open license, students have access to them in any format that best serves their learning needs and preferences. Students can access materials online with a laptop or a phone. They can download material to save and print it. Commercial printing is often available for a very low cost. Students can also access material with screen readers, which helps with auditory learning or provides access to those with visual impairments. One of the main benefits of OER is that students have access to the material immediately. More students will use your assigned text because it is free and accessible. No more sharing textbooks or avoiding purchasing books because they are too expensive. Students have access to the books and materials 24 seven on a platform that best works for them. Changing to OER material does not have to be an all or nothing proposition. You can start with one class, one reading, or one assignment. From there, you can build to a fully OER course. The library is here to assist you with the transition to OER. We can provide you a list of searchable OER repositories and libraries. If you provide us with a syllabus or course materials list, we can do initial searches and create a short list of available OER that may work for your course. Librarians are also available to help you adapt OER to your course. Finally, we provide continuing education about OER and open pedagogy through our work with the Center for the Advancement of Learning. UDC is a member of the Washington Research Library Consortium, or WRLC. As a part of our membership, a librarian serves on the Textbook Affordability Working Group. This group provides workshops about OER. They also host sessions where you can learn how to review an open textbook for a stipend. The committee also provides a website related to open education. Finally, our membership provides consortial access to the Open Textbook Library, the premier repository of OER textbooks. I made the switch to OER materials uh, a few years ago when I noticed that a large number of students in my first year writing classes weren't buying the book, 
or weren't getting it for the first few weeks of the course because they simply weren't able to afford it. I started supplementing material with videos, infographics, uh, and excerpts from free textbooks I found online. And after a while, I realized that those resources were actually better and more engaging than the overpriced textbooks that we'd get from publishers. So at that point, I decided I just needed to make the switch to using those materials only. The library is here to help you adopt, adapt, and even create OER material. Email us at any time or check out our online OER guide to learn more about these valuable resources. We look forward to working with you.